Welcome to another lecture guys. In this lecture we are going to learn how we can rotate any 3D object inside our app with use of touch from left to right orientation or in the y direction you can say. First of all let's go to our scripts folder and create a new C sharp script. Not folder let's just delete this folder and create a new c sharp script we are going to call it rotate model and let's open up it in view studio double click it and here it's been open here we are going to have a float variable called rotation speed let's set it to 100 for example then let's just delete this start function and update function we are not going to need it we are going to need this one mouse track function inside one mouse track we are going to create a new float variable let's call it x equals to input dot get axis inside we are going to give mouse x then we are going to multiply it with the rotation speed and then we are going to multiply that by math f dot dg to ra next we are going to set the transform dot rotate and here we are going to give vector 3 dot up and on this x Let's save it and go back to Unity and wait for it to reload everything. Now select your 3D model and we are going to add collider to it to detect the touch. Let's add this script first of all to all of these 3D models. Next we are going to add a box collider to our 3 model and uh, we are going to adjust the size of our model and our collider to align with each other. Let's hit edit collider and change your collider size and position so it takes all the space of your 3D model and from wherever you touch it, the touch gets notified. Let's move it a bit over here. Let's check it from the other side. Move it a bit here. And it looks perfect. Let's uncheck this. Label this. Add the box collider here. And it looks perfect already. Go to the other model and add the box collider. Looks perfect already. Let's go to the fork model, add the collider, and we need to resize this. Let's zoom it a bit out, change its width. Let's shrink it a bit inside, exclude it itself. Let's exclude it from this side. Now let's move it from down and exclude it over here. Looks perfect. Let's just move it a bit up and it looks perfect. 